Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we are going to be drilling our engine mount for our new go kart using this Bridgeport milling machine. So let's get to it. The first thing you got to do is uh, lower the table so we can put our machine vise up on the table. So we've got our vise up and we're just going to clamp it down to the machine table before we get started. The most important thing to do when you're clamping something down to the table is make sure you use a minimum of two clamps. So before we get started we've got to make sure that this vice face is running true to the table. And an easy way to get it started is just to push the vise hard up onto the T-bolts inside the T-slots and that gets the vise pretty close and then we're going to stick a dial indicator on here and then just what they call clock the vise up. Grab your dial indicator and magnetic base, lock it onto the machine like that and then we're just going to spin it around, change the angle of the dangle, try not to crash into our milling cutter. bend the little leg down and then just wind the table over until the clock reads zero. So with one clamp tight and one just a little bit loose, we're going to just turn the table in X and move the vise underneath the indicator and you can see here that it's starting to increase. With one loose, you can see as I come this direction it's starting to increase so that means that the vise is cocked over like that so I need to bring it back straight. So tap the vise here and the dial indicator is going to go down. Now as I turn the table if it still goes up I'm just going to keep hitting it until it stops moving. It's getting closer but it's still increasing so you don't have to do the full lap. That's still decreasing, so I know that I'm still out. All right, so that's pretty close there. So what I'll do is I'll just nip that vice draw, the vice clamp up, zero the dial gauge, and then we should be able to do one more pass. Just moves a little bit when we start. I'll just go back to zero. Each one of those lines is only a hundredth of a millimeter, so it's out of line by, say, two hundredths, and it's still a little bit too high. I'm just going to set that back and we should be all good. There you have it. Okay, so now we've got all that set up, it's time to mount the engine mount in the vise. Grab a set of parallel strips and put them on your vise and that raises your job up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is just put the, make sure they're underneath the not the casting, but the machine surface under there. So they're parallel. If you've got a couple of engine mounts to do, you can just get a parallel strip like this and use it as a stop so that when you take this engine mount out and stick the next one in, it's in exactly the same spot as a little bit of a reference point. Once you've done that, it's time to do up the vise. Clamp it up, crank on some pressure so it doesn't go anywhere and we're ready to start machining. Now because I've done these a few times I know where to stick the first cut and I can take my reference points from that. We need an 80 millimeter hole spacing between the two rows of bolts and because this is going on an IAMI engine it's 115 millimeters. If you're doing a Rotax or a Vortex engine they're 102 millimeters. So we're going to drill it for both so that if the guys ever change from one to the other they can use both engines on this same engine mount. Okay, for the counter balls, we're going to be using this 16mm 3 fluted slot drill. Okay, so I've wound the cutter roughly over to where I want to start. Now, if you didn't know where to put the cutter to start with, you could measure in on the top so that when you flipped it over, you could touch on here, find your center, and then use your digital readout to come across. I've come across manually. I'm just going to zero the readout now and then proceed to machine all the parts. Okay, 
Okay, so I've positioned the cut eye down inside the casting. The, you don't have a lot of options here with the Tony cut casting because it's only got so much area where you can put your cuts in. It's not a solid piece of aluminium. Next up, I've got to find a um, Z0 and set my depth stop here on the on the on the quill, so that I can just come and hammer all the uh, spot faces to the same depth. Now I've got my depth stop locked into position, I can go around and spot face all the same uh, depth for all the same counter balls. This machine is a little bit antiquated and the X axis reader actually reads double. That's why it's saying 204, this is actually 102 millimeters. So that is the hole spacing for Rotax and Vortex. And then we're going to go in the X axis to 230 millimeters for the IAMI, which is half, which is equals 115 millimeters. So because we're cutting aluminium and this is a carbide cutter, we're going to cut it at about 1700. Now we're going to wind over to our next hole, which is 230 millimeters. So the beauty of this cutter is that it can go into solid aluminium, solid steel. You just got to get the speed right. Uh, we don't have to drill down and put a you know, pilot hole in. You can hear it's picking up a little bit, so I'm just going to crank the speed up. It's just getting stuck in the center because it's aluminium and it's kind of uh, it's a real sticky material. So now we've completed that one side of counterboards, we've got to wind the table over 80 millimeters. And because this is a bridge port, each revolution is 5 millimeters, and we needed to go 80, so we needed 16 full revolutions, and that's it there, and it should be exactly 80 millimeters. So now that you've finished doing the counter balls, we're just going to put some spot face with a center drill and then finish the operation over in the drill press. Now the reason we do that is if we use a normal twist drill and we drill down through our engine mount, we're going to drill into our vise or our um, parallel strips because we won't be able to control the stop as the drill bit breaks through. So yeah, we're just going to spot them on this and then transfer it over to the drill press. So you can see the draw bars up here. And you just spin it clockwise, we'll just lock the machine and do the spindle nut up with the shifter. Okay, so we are all set up and now it's just a matter of going around and spotting the six holes and taking it over to the drill press.
So now we've got all the counter balls done and we've spotted all the drill spots, we can take it out and finish the operation. Now it's just a matter of drilling the holes with the 8.5. So now the drill's set at the right speed. Safety never takes a holiday. Sometimes a little bit of lube can help, especially with aluminium because it is sticky. With the high speed steel. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is just deburr these holes, and the job's done. So you can see there that the, it's not a major task, it does take a little bit of time to set them up, but once you've got them set up, you can really pump them out, if you, especially if you set the digital read up, digital readout up on your milling machine, or I mean even better if you had a CNC machine, it can just spit these out like they're on special, you know what I mean? But for us old school guys, we don't have that equipment. We just just do it by hand. That's it. I'm going to blow that off, and that's a wrap. All right. So there you have it. That's how you drill an engine mount the right way, the easy way. Use a milling machine. Get those counter balls in. You can just use a drill press to mark them out. But I don't know how you you cut out the back of it to get the heads of the bolts to sit down flat. That's the best way I know. So if you're stuck, take your engine mount to a machine shop and get them to do it the right way. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, but most importantly, turn on the notifications so you get a notification when the next video does drop. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au Grab yourself a t-shirt or a nice aluminium machined engine mount. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Thank you.